So what we're going to do here is extend the width of the front half of this trailer out to the fenders so that I can park a four-wheeler and my daughter's machine side by side and then the wife's machine in the back. Okay, so I've got the first side kind of on. Went out eight inches and back eight feet. Don't judge my welds. So I'm going to take this expanded metal and cut it to fit here and then kind of line this profile. Yeah, I had to cut the uh, spare tire carrier off. So I'll line that profile so I'll just have expanded metal on this section and then fill in there. And I'll be able to use these for tie down points if I need to. Cool. I busted out the old plasma cutter, metal saw, and my MIG welder. All right, so next step is to cut two more eight inch pieces and for that side and then I'll probably put this expanded metal on this side, get it all finished up before I start the other side. So I've clamped this down, marked it where I need to cut. So I've clamped this down, marked it where I need to cut. And uh, I'll probably just use the plasma cutter. Make quick work of that. And I'm going to have to put in a filler piece. Because 8 feet ain't 8 feet, apparently. This expanded steel is not 96 inches. Should have measured. Okay, I got that cut and I've got this marked. I'm grind some paint off so I can put some welds on. That'll work quite nice. This side's all welded up. Just need to Hit it with the wheel and clean it up and put some primer on it. Gotta fill that gap too. 
and start it on this side. Got these little wings on. I'm about ready to tack this in place. coming along. I stood on that and it didn't break so that's good.
All right, so I'll mark off all the little spots where it needs to be welded. <clears throat> Grind it down to bare metal. Tack her on. Well, I just ran out of wire, so got to make a trip to tractor supply. Get a little bit more wire, maybe get some uh, weld on D rings. Put uh, uh, one there and maybe one there, one there. So I need three, six, maybe eight. Can't have too many D rings, right? Making progress. Both sides are welded up. Primered this side. Just a light coating. So I learned from my mistakes on the other side and went just a tad bit shorter so the expanded metal actually fits edge to edge. I've not put in a piece, uh, a filler piece over here yet. Um, but I'm packing up for the night. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all painted and pull it out, paint it, and I'll load the machines on there, figure out where I want the D-rings, and then grind off that paint and put them on. Um, I did put some plates here on the edge. I wanted uh, angle, but all they had was flat at Tractor Supply. That would have fit. So cut those up and burnt them in. So, fun fact here, um, kind of my first time using the plasma torch, my first time using that saw, and maybe like third or fourth time welding. I think I'm going to repurpose my silly little YouTube channel to jack of all trades, master of none, because I certainly do a lot of stuff, but I am by far no master at any of them. But I do have fun. Alright, so it is the next day. Pulled the trailer out, got a little paint on the sides, not quite the right color gray, so I'm going to have to uh, call Lamar. Uh, I know they sell spray paint, so I'll order a couple cans and get that to blend in. But here we go. I think it turned out pretty good. Should be able to pull up with the uh, ATV, pull it off to the side. Um, I did get some uh, one by square tube, and I was thinking of making, you know, like a, a short little six inch rail. Uh, maybe to put it in pockets or something so it's removable, just so the machine won't slide off. Um, I'll look into that. Next step, figure out where to put the D-rings, and uh, we'll test fit everything too. That's kind of important. Project done for now.